Hello my friends, Mirror Keepers. Today I will show you how to create a very, very cheap incubator for your ant queens. So as you can see, here we have a new ant queen. Possibly it's Lazius Flavus. Here we go. And I already created a incubator for it. It's the old incubator from the Campanotus Vagus colony. So let's see how it's assembled. All right, so this is a regular syringe for 12 milliliters. I've drilled two big holes, five millimeters each, maybe six millimeters each. Uh, to put inside the tubings like so and I just took the uh, took a match and uh, covered it with some cotton and just closed the tubing so the queen will not escape uh, inside I've put the nano sponge I guess it's called like that so it's like just a piece of uh, uh, regular mop head and yeah and I've, I, I poked a few holes here and there uh, with the syringe needle uh, so just to get uh, the oxygen inside of the syringe and if you will take a look here you will see scratches inside the syringe uh, this is for uh, queen so she could um, have some so the surface inside of syringe is very smooth and by scratching it from inside I'm allowing the queen moving more um, comfortably okay that's kind of it about the syringe uh, you just need to water it uh, from time to time when the sponge uh, is getting drier Mm, yeah, as you can see, there is no water as in regular uh, incubators. So you just water it manually, and the water lasts for, I don't know, maybe two, three weeks, depends on the temperature outside. All right, and here is the second part of this incubator I wanted to show you. This is kind of mini arena that I'm going to attach to this uh, incubator later. When we have about 10 15 uh, workers in this colony um, so I will just take off this tubing and I will just assemble this mini arena like so and as you can see it's perfectly stable yeah so what's the point in this thing so when you are getting more ants in your colony uh, it's harder it, it, it becomes harder to feed them so you just attach something like this so it will slow down the ants going from there to here and here we have also a few poked holes for the oxygen and this is the gate so I drilled this four millimeters hole here and I took another syringe and cut a ring then I cut the ring like so and pulled the ring on the syringe. So now I can rotate it and it will open the hole that I can feed ants through. So when I finished feeding, I will just rotate this ring and the hole will be closed. Uh, another option is to slide either way this ring so it will open the hole and I can easily fit them nobody will escape from there mm, and that's it it's very simple very cheap as you can see it's like two syringes and some tubing so it's really nothing it costs like a few cents maybe mm, yeah and later when the uh, colony is growing I can attach another uh, ca camera made of syringe or uh, use this arena from this colony I will attach a bigger arena to this formicarium later and yeah they will have their own bigger arena until they get like 
100 200 species in the colony okay that's about it and hopefully this new places flavors and will give us a very cool and thriving colony all right thanks for watching please let me know if you liked or disliked this video and see you next time bye okay guys and we forgot that we wanted actually to put this little lasers flavors and queen into this new cheap incubator so sun here we go yes okay open it carefully yeah. okay just ah uh, no <laughs> wait all right all right here we go and she's inside yoohoo all right now we will put her in some dark place and hopefully she will lay some eggs for us.